Hello. Good night, Fernando. How are you? Hi, Fernando. Hello. Hello, Fernando. Can you hear me? Hi. Hi. Hi, Gabby. How, How are you are doing? You? Oh, you can hear me. What about Fernando? I don't know. Hmm. Maybe he don't have uh, audio. Yeah, maybe he doesn't have the audio. Yes, Fernando, can you hear me? Yeah, teacher. Oh, yes, finally. I Excellent. Oh, my God. I thought <laughs> you, you couldn't hear me, and I was like, okay, Alexander <laughs> is not here. Don't tell me that the uh, Zoom is not working. <laughs> that was really <laughs> yeah, how are you doing today? How are you guys doing? Uh, very good, teacher. Very good. That's nice. Hi, Cloudy. Cloudy, Hi, we teacher. miss you. You're lying on a hamaca. That's amazing. Yeah. And she said, yeah, like, <laughs> <laughs> that's nice. It's really relaxing, right? Yeah. Yeah, definitely it is. How was your day going? Um, was it good? Yeah, it's good. It's good. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Yeah. And tired. Uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, but today you're in English class. So, oh, we're going to have so much fun today. Hey, guys, tell me, Fernando, Claudi, Gabby, did you study? Yeah, a little, a little bit. Okay, Fernando, yes, <laughs> yes for sure. And Gabby, she's honest, a little bit. <laughs> Why, Gabby, what happened? I tried to study, but... Uh... Mm -hmm. I have many things to do, mm -hmm. and uh, I try to work with my uh, daughter in house. Oh, okay. Oh, I understand. So you're working, but at the same time, you're helping your daughter. Yes, mm -hmm. uh, she has many work to do in home now. Many homeworks. Okay, she's staying home, but... And the teachers are sending her a lot of information, right? Yes, a lot of homework. Yes. Okay. Yes. I do have a, a friend. She's younger than me. And she, once she uh, uploaded information on the WhatsApp status, and she said, I wish somebody could take off the internet from the, to the teachers so they do not send us the homeworks. And I was like, <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, of course. You're uh, you're at home, but you need to work, right? Yes. Oh, I know. And how old is your children, by the way? Or your all oh, your child? Sorry. Sorry. How old is your daughter? She has five years old. Oh, she's five. Yes. Oh, she's a little baby girl. Oh, yes. yeah, but you know what? <laughs> uh, the teachers always has a lot of work for her little ones. Oof. Yes. Oh my goodness! Yeah, I think too many things to do. Uh, yeah. manualidades. Yes, exactly. How many things? Yes. Mm -hmm. How do you say manualidades? Handmade. Handmade, Handmade. things. Yeah. Okay. Because you do something with your hands, right? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Oh. Okay. Nadia is joined. Okay, Gabby. I cannot see you. Why don't see you, Gabby? I want to see you. Okay. Now I have Nadi. I have uh, Gabriel. Gabby, I miss you. Yay! I'm here. Uh, oh, and the little baby girl is there. Hi, baby Hello. girl. Hey, you're going to study with us today? That will be amazing. <laughs> you're going to help your mama. Hey, that sounds great. Um, that's good. Hi. Hello. Hola. Hi. Hey, what's your name? What's your name? Ariana. <gasps> Ariana. Oh, that's a pretty good name. Hey. I have a baby girl, but actually it's not human. It's a doggy. Her name is Chloe. <laughs> yes. Chloe. Chloe. The other one. Uh, yes, that's the old. Chloe is the little baby girl. Um, Chestnut is the little baby Chestnut. boy. Lilo is the mama. And Whiskey is the father. <laughs> Four dogs. Four dogs right now. One is already at his new home. Chester. Chester Beatty. Chester now is living with, um, 
with a new family. Yes, they, they love him a lot. So I'm just looking for a home for Chloe. Does that? <laughs> yes, please uh, convince your mama. I'm not just kidding. <laughs> All righty. Okay, I was asking um, Gabby, Fernando, and Claudi, uh, Gabriel, and Nadia if you have a study. Yeah. Okay. You know I am what? not a star. I I don't think so, right? Oh, don't worry. Everything's going to be all right. Today, guys, <laughs> we're going to learn a lot of things right now. Today, we're going to develop one of the skills that I love the most, which is basically um, the reading skill, the reading comprehension skill. That's what we're going to learn today. We're going to develop that. Basically, what we're going to do is like um, we're going to read like a fitness survey and you will be able to see how um, the question would how are use in there, okay? And as, as, at the same time, we're going to learn scheming. Do you remember, guys, what is scheming? Okay, the one that used to be with me, they know that reading is not just reading. You need to learn how to read and to understand what you're reading. For that, we need to develop different um, type of tips for reading skill. And today we're going to develop the one that shows or that it says skimming. Okay? Yeah. Skimming is like, um, when I ask you a specific question, you need to go straight ahead to a specific part of the article to find the, the answer for me, like fast way. And you don't have to read the whole article, okay? We're going to develop those skills. Don't worry, Gabby, because I saw, I, I saw your face like, oh. no, 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 don't worry, <laughs> don't worry. But this is really important because we need, in, in Spanish, we need to learn, right? to understand what we're reading and to answer a specific type of questions. In English, it's the same. But in English, it will be a little bit difficult because it is not our native language. And there will be some words that you're not going to know. Especially if you're reading a specific articles that they're talking about topic that you don't know. Simple things like fitness survey, the one that we're going to about to start a little bit. But there are some articles like, for example, for... Um, for loss, archaeology, anthropology, etc. That is not your business. So how am I going to understand that, those articles? That's why we need to start uh, developing those skills, okay? And after that, for you to be so much fun and entertain and recap everything that we have seen so far, what we're going to do, Gabriel? Play Kahoo. Exactly. <laughs> We're going to play Kahoo. Don't worry, Gabby. You will love it. I promise that. Okay? Yeah. You. you can you see the cloudy smile? That's amazing, right? <laughs> right, Nadia? You, you used to be with me, so you know how Kahoo it is, right? Yes. yes. <laughs> All righty. Very good. Hi, Moran. Good afternoon. No, good afternoon. No, good night. Hello. Hello, sir. How are you doing? Uh, I was asleep. <gasps> you, were, you were sleeping? Yeah, I, I wake up 90 p.m. <laughs> so you just woke up? Okay. <laughs> so you're fresh. Cool. Excellent. But, but I am, I, I sleep 8 p.m. So one, one hour. you slept one hour. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. But that's good. So you can recover and have more energy, right? That's great. Yeah. What about you, Alex? Hello. Hello. Hello teacher. How are you doing, sir? Tired. Yes. This is a tough day. Really tough. Really day. tough day. Now you look yes. exactly like Mr. Moran was yesterday. <laughs> uh, yeah. I guess. Yeah. Yes, I guess. But I promise <laughs> that today will be so much fun. So, without further waiting, Let's start, okay? Yes. Cool. Yes. Okay. 
Just okay. allow me one moment. Eh, no yet. Okay. Hey, Martita is joined the class. Hi, Martita. Hi. How are you doing? Pretty good? That's great. Okay, allow me just one moment. Let me uh, open the file that I, I just want to share with you. And then I'm going to share my screen with you, okay? Is that, is that good? Okay. Okay, yeah. cool. Okay. Excellent, guys. All righty, there you go. Okay, cool. <laughs> That's what I want. There you go. There you go. Da, 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 da. <laughs> you know what? Right now, everything is working fine because Alexandra has not enjoyed the class. Let me know as you are able to see my screen, okay? Okay. Can you see it? Yes. 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 Okay, that's cool. Tell me, yes. Gabby, what's the uh, the article topic? Health and fitness quiz. Exactly. Health and fitness quiz. All right. So basically, guys, we have like uh, I think it's ten questions, <laughs> if I'm not mistaken. No, 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 no. It will be eleven questions. Okay. So eleven questions. What I want you to do right now um, is to, to think about this question, guys. How healthy and fit do you think you are? ¿Qué tan saludable y en buena eh, forma están ustedes? Solo piénsenlo. <laughs> what a smile, Natty. <laughs> All right. Okay, this is what I want you to do. ¿Cómo van a hacer esto? Ok. Van a medir su score. ¿Cuál score? De cero, very unhealthy. A 55, very healthy. Pero ¿cómo quiero que hagan? Solamente les voy a dar chance de unos un minuto para que vean así de rápido solamente las preguntas en negrita, ¿ok? Solo las preguntas. Échenle un vistazo rapidito y saquen sus propias conclusiones, como yo digo. ¡Eh! Hey, en español suena muy bien. Nadie me felicitó. Congratulations. Thank you, Gabriel. I'm, I, I don't sound like Mexican, right, Moran? Mexican? Yes. Hopefully not. <laughs> okay. Okay, guys. Take your time. Just read the questions. Nothing else. Only the questions. Okay. Okay, finish, right? Okay, tell me, uh, Nadia, how healthy you think you are? ¿Qué tan saludable y, y en forma crees que estás tú? Del 0 al 55. Ya le ya leíste las preguntas, right? Um, sí, pero no. Lo que alcanzaste, no. se ve borroso. Sí, lo sé, porque así quiero verlo, así quiero que lo vean. Ah, es por una razón. Lo que alcanzaste a leer, no importa si no llegaste a la pregunta 11, lo, de lo que alcanzaste no puede, a leer. No puedo verlo porque estaba trasladándome para la sala. Ay, ay, ay. Bueno, te voy a, te voy a, te, te voy a dejar en pausita. ¿eh? Después te voy a volver contigo. No te preocupes. Okay. Ya lo voy a volver a poner. Gabriel. Yes. How healthy and fit you are? Um. Tell me the truth. <laughs> um. Uh, since. Uh, I can, things can read, 
Mm-hmm. Um, maybe uh, 21. 21, okay. Yes. What about you, Alex? How healthy and fit do you think you are? Well, I, I do a little trick with this because I just made it yesterday. Aha, uh -huh, so that's good. And, and I, I have a 44 point. Oh, oh, 44, not too bad. So I know who, who I'm going to ask a lot. Okay, Cloudy, <laughs> what about you? What do you think, girl? Um, uh, I am. Um, How many points? 25. 25? 25. Okay. Martita, what about you? Um, about uh, 30. Okay. Fernando, what about you? 30, teacher. 30, yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. What about you, Moran? Uh, I did a quick average. Okay. Uh, my score is 33. All right, not so, too bad. So I, med I am medium health. Oh, okay. Very good. What about you, Gabby? Um, maybe I am in... In the third um, position, uh, a little below um, average. A little bit below average, okay. You know what? Okay, very good. <laughs> okay, you're honest with yourself. Okay, that's okay. This is like a quick review and just only for double checking the questions, okay? That Gabby, Martita, and Nadia. That is a scheming, okay? I ask you a question. How healthy and fit do you think you are? And you just answered the question, but you didn't read the whole article. Why? Because I didn't give you time. I'm just asking you, read the questions. And that is what you did. Is that correct? And with the questions, it will give you like an idea. What is exactly this article talks about? Can you let me know, Martita, what is this article about? ¿De qué se trata este artículo? Con solo haber mm. leído las preguntas, what is this article about? ¿De qué se trata? About the health. Okay, about the health. Very good. Any other idea, Gabby? Good, Martita. Um, I think that this about uh, have good uh, you have uh, your body but no for me it's not only for fitness mm -hmm. uh, or play some things mm -hmm. uh, it's uh, too for um, how do uh, how do you eat every okay, day okay very good and uh, I don't know. Uh, I think I read a, a, uh, a question that it's talking about a, what type of food you eat. Exactly. Very good. Very good. Good observation. You see, just asking a question. You're about to say the answer, right? I read that. No, I read an answer. No, I read a question you said. Very good, Gabby. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Any other comment, Alex? Uh, Any other it's idea? about uh, you are what you eat. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. Definitely, yeah. Alex, Martita, and Gabby there, all of you are right. Exactly. It's also just, just to make like an auto-evaluation, right? Yes. If you do exercises, if you eat healthy, right? If you have a, uh, well, if you eat healthy, if you take medicines, for example, vitamins, etc. Okay, very good. Okay, let me, let me put this bigger. Is it better? Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right, allow me just one moment. Let me move this a little bit. All right, cool. All right. So, can you please be so kind? Um, 
We're going to go <clears throat> here for the first section. We're going to, we're about to start reading, okay? And at the same time to comprehend a little bit. Let's work at the comprehension right now. What is the first section, Moran? Uh, food and nutrition. Food and nutrition. Food and nutrition, exactly. For this particular section, we do have approximately, let me double check, eight I think it's five, eight questions, right? Okay, cool. Let me start with the first one. Could you please be so kind to read it for me? Okay. How many meals do you eat each day? Very good. What does it mean in Spanish? Eh, ¿Cuántos meals? Eso se hace. Comes cada día. Mm -hmm. ¿Cuántas eh, comidas haces pues, al día? Ración, ración. Exactly. Eh. Very good. What are the three possible answers, Gaby? Um, four or five small meals. Mm -hmm. eh, three meals. One or two meals. Muy bien. Entre esas, ¿cuáles están? ¿Quién está en la primera? I am. Okay, am. very good. What about number two? Me? Nadia and Moran, Me? what about number three? Nobody. What about you, Gabriel and Fernando? Um, in the second one. In the second one. Meals. And yes. you, the Fernando? Oh, no, the first one. Teacher. Okay, Four very good. Meals. Very yeah. good, very good. What about you, Alex? Uh, the first one. The first one. Very good. Excellent job. Okay, let's continue reading. Now, who can help me? Nadia, go ahead. How often do you eat at regular times during the day? Okay, very good. What does it mean in Spanish? Uh, how do, uh, como, eh, ¿Qué significa during? Durante. Okay. Cada cuánto tú comes y regularmente durante el día. Mm, are you sure? Cada cuánto comes a la hora. Exactly. A la hora. Regular times that mean that you have a specific time to eat. For example, okay, I eat at 12 noon every single day. No matter what I'm doing or no matter what I have to do, that's the schedule that I do have. I have my breakfast at 6 a.m. in the morning, okay? Mm -hmm. I have a break at 10, for example. Okay, so what would be your answer, Nadia? Uh, hardly ever. Hardly ever? Yeah. Oh. Okay, who is number one? Me. Hey, what about number two? Me, Me teacher. All right, and number three? Money, mm. Nadia. <laughs> no. And, I, and you, Gabby? I, I am. I am. Okay. Yes. All right. Me too. Yeah. Hardly ever. Hardly ever, right? Because uh, each of us has a different circumstances, right? Maybe. Exactly. Yes. Different responsibilities. Mm -hmm. Exactly. When I used to work in a call center, to be honest with you, hardly ever. <laughs> because I don't have a specific time. Yes. But now, no. That's great. All right. Number three, Fernando, could you please be so kind to read for me question number three? Okay. Mm -hmm. How many serving of fruit or vegetable do you eat each day? Okay. What does it mean, Fernando? Uh, In Spanish. What? Cuánto, ¿Cuántos servicios de fruta o, vegetable, o, o vegetales haces al día? Muy cuántas bien. Porciones? Exactly. That's that's good. That's better. Yes. ¿Cuántas porciones de frutas o vegetales tú comes al día? What will be your answer? One, two, or three? Two. Two. two okay. Two. All one right. Yeah. One, one to four. Una vez cada cuatro. No. One to four es de una a cuatro. Ah. Exactly. I'm in number two. What about number three? Number three, you don't eat vegetables and fruits, guys. No les gusta los no, vegetales. No, no. For me, number two. Number two. One, one, and number four. one. Martita, what about you? <laughs> one, two, four. Ah, okay, okay. Number two. So, so most of us, yes. number two. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Alguien no come vegetables and fruits. <laughs> No, right, everybody. Okay, you're healthy. Very good. Están haciendo sus puntitos, ¿verdad? 
Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, number four. And Gabriel, could you please be so kind to read it for me? Okay. How much junk food do you eat? How much junk food? What does it mean in Spanish? Um, ¿Sabe qué es un junk food? No, junk food. Junk I don't food know. es comida mm. chatarra. Junk mm. food. Okay. In other words, pizza, hamburger, French fries, donuts, mm -hmm. etc. Right? Y que son tan yeah, rico. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> Pero high cholesterol, right? And a big belly, Entre right? Líneas. Exactly. <laughs> and cellulitis <laughs> para nosotros. Oh, no way. Okay, cool. All righty. Mm -hmm. So, what will be your answer? Very little, about average, or a lot? Be honest. Uh, for me, about average. About number average. Two. Okay, number two. Yeah. Okay. What about very little? <laughs> and a lot? No. And a lot? Okay, be honest, guys. Don't be so mean. ¿Quién come mucho junk food? Nadie. No. Nobody? No. Okay. Congratulations. Nothing I'm so proud of you. But I don't believe you. <laughs> Very good. All righty. Number five. Uh, Claudita. Do you take vitamins? Do you take vitamins? ¿Qué significa? Do you take vitamins? Mm -hmm. Yes, every day. Every day? Sometimes, no. Mm -hmm. uh, I am. Second, sometimes. Sometimes. Number two. ¿Quién le toma vitaminas? Por obligación. For obligation. Sometimes. Okay, sometimes, Gabby? Yes. Yes, sometimes. All right, sometimes. Martita, sometimes. what about you? Sometimes. Sometimes. Yes. Uh, who doesn't take medicines or vitamins? No? Okay, you're healthy. Vamos bien hasta ahorita, right? That's good. Van haciendo sus puntitos, ¿verdad? Yeah. yeah. Okay, más les vale. All righty. Let's go for number six. Second, your fitness. ¿Qué significa your fitness? What does it mean? Condición física. Okay, yes. Uh, who can read it for me? Martita, go ahead. Read for me how, number six. How often do you exercise or play a sport? Very good. We do have three questions. Okay, three possible answers, sorry. Where are you, Martita? In which, in which of the three? Uh, one or two days a week. Very good. Thank you. Who is now number two? What about number three? Never. What about number one? Okay, the rest of you are potato, right? Potato ones. Couch potatoes. No es el ejercicio? O es un deporte? No? Nadia? Gabby? Um, uh, maybe one or two days a week because ah, okay. I play with my child. Ah, okay, you play with your child. Okay, very good. Okay, so that's good. Martita, do me a favor. Can you please read for me again the question number six? Oh, no, just the question. I'm... Yes, number six. Just a question. Could you please read it once again for me? Uh, I'm asking you a question. No. If you can read for me once again, question number six. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, how often do you exercise or play a sport? Aha, uh -huh, very good. Okay. Let me ask you guys. Thank you, Martita. This is a just no question. Is that correct? Teacher. Yes, a student. I, I knew a student. The eldest is speaking? I knew, I knew a student. Okay. 
I see you. If you see it. Oh, yeah. You the, the little puppy? <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay, I don't I don't speak uh, doggy name, uh, language. <laughs> like I said, roof. Okay. Se queda viendo la, el oh. teléfono. All right, very good. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to ask him a few questions at the end of the class. <laughs> All right, very good. Okay, okay, Martita. Why I ask you to read the question once again? Why? Because we're going to practice also the pronunciation. Okay, guys? Okay. How okay. often is a WH question? Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Do you remember, guys, when we are uh, talking about WH question, the intonation goes up? Or the intonation goes down. Goes up. Goes up. up. How often do you? Are you sure? How often do you exercise your Goes down. Goes down. Exactly. Goes down. Exactly. The intonation goes down. The just no question goes up, and the earlier questions goes down. But it needs to sound like if you're asking a question. Okay? Listen carefully, Martita. How often do you exercise or play a sport? You see? It sounds like a question. How often do you exercise or play a sport? Okay, can you please do it again for me? I know you can do it. How often do you exercise or play a sport? Again, a sport. How often do you exercise or play ice sport? Very good, very good, very good, excellent. Much better, you see? I know you can do it, Martita. Good job, excellent job. All righty, Gabby, let, yes. can you please be so kind to help me reading the, uh, continue reading for me? Yes. All right, cool. I want you to but, read question number seven. Go ahead. Uh, uh, yes. Which best describe your exercise program? Okay. Uh, again. Which best describe your exercise program? Again. Which best describe your exercise program? The intonation is good, but I want you to do it once again. Okay. Oh my God, teacher! <laughs> uh, ah, I hate you. No, I'm. Why? You will see. Okay, okay, do it again. Which best describes your exercise program? Now is good. You know what was missing? Uh, the yes at the end of describe. Exactly. That's the one. Sorry. That's what I ask you. Like, oh my God. Like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. You, you see, I told you, eight years in a call center is not enough. My ear is really developed. Okay, very good. Well done, Gabby. Excellent job. Okay, what would be your answer, Gabby? Um... Mm, none. None? Okay. None. <laughs> okay. Guys, do you understand the question? Entiende la pregunta? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Que de esas tres opciones, de cuál es la mejor opción que describe tu programa de ejercicio, Claudi? De entrenamiento con pesas y aeróbicos? Pesas wow. o yeah. aeróbicos o ninguno? Uh, I like uh, pesos. Weights? Uh -huh. Weights. Okay. Wait. Wait. I don't like those. Mm -mm. I love no. them. <laughs> what about you, Fernando? The ocean too, teacher. Every oh? way is training for aerobic exercise. Very good. What about you, Alex? You told us that after classes you do exercise every single night from Monday to Sunday, you said. No, ah. Monday to Friday. Ah, Monday okay, to Monday Friday. to Friday. <laughs> All right. And both. Both. Uh, lifting weight and aerobic. Very good job. Yeah. Guys, in this particular um, options, do you have any questions regarding vocabulary or pronunciation? 
both great. Both? Both? Both. 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 The both. first one. Do both. you remember, guys, yes. that when we have a T and we have an H together, <laughs> it sounds both. like both, like Z as in zebra. Both. Both. Look at my mouth. Both. 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 No both. importa que pase uno como both. que fuera goofy de uh, 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 uh. silly, both. no importa. <laughs> Pero you gotta pronounce it correctly, okay? Both. 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 Tienes que sentir el both. aire que sale de tu boca. Both. 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 Excellent both. job. Both. 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 Okay, Gaby. Both. Both. Yes. Both. both. Excellent. Martita. <coughs> both. Both. Very good. Moran. Both. No, both, no. Both. Both. Exactly. Very good job. Call, no, 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 no. Like Z as in zebra. Both. Así le dicen. Both. No, ahí sí dijo bobo. Both. Se como bog. I know, I know. It's really hard. But as more you practice, le sale mejor. Okay? And otra? What about this one? Either. 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 Either weight training or aerobics. O esto o lo otro. Okay? Either. All right. Number eight. Um, Alex, could you please be so kind to read it for me? The number eight? Yes, please. How important is your fitness program to you? Okay. Go with your answer, sir. Very important. Fairly important, not very important. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, number one. Important. What about you guys? For me very too. Good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very good. Number one, number one. one. Who, is in, who is the last one? Me. <laughs> Gabby? No. Okay, Gabby. <laughs> At least she's honest. Me. All righty. <laughs> okay, you're marking your points, right? Okay, let's double check. Now the last section, your health to salud. Uh, Fernando, can you please read it for me? Number okay. nine. Which base describes your weight? Again? Which base describes your weight? Again? Uh, which base describes your weight? One more time. Okay. Describes. Uh, Describes. Okay, listen to your listen to your classmate. Okay, what which one you said? What you said, guys? Describes. 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 Very good. Okay, Fernando, go ahead. Which bay describes your weight? Again. Which bay describes your weight? This describes. Uh -huh. Listen describes. to Alex. Describes. Okay. Describes. <laughs> Describes. Describes. Right. Excellent job. You see? There you go. We see? We're a family. We're a team. We'll help each other. Great job, guys. Give me double five. Excellent job. All right. ¿Qué de todos estos describe mejor tu peso? Ay, ay, ay. Oh, no. Pues yo no estoy en ninguna de las tres. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> All righty. Uh-huh. Eh... Within six pounds of my LDI weight, es decir, estoy en seis libras de mi peso ideal, entre diez libras de mi peso ideal o más de doce libras sobre o encima o debajo de mi peso. What do you think, guys? Number three. <laughs> Number three. <laughs> number three. <laughs> number three. <laughs> Everybody's in number three, right? Yes, definitely. Yes. <laughs> why? Why Salvadorian food is so delicious? Okay. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Any questions regarding vocabulary or pronunciation, guys? No. Uh, within. I, within. 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 Very good. Within. Pounds. Within? No, within, no. Oh. Within. 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 Exactly. Very good, Moran. Within. Pounds. 
Pounds. Pounds. You can say three kilos, Pounds. or you can three say kilos. three kilograms. Kilos. Vamos a aprender cómo se leen exacto, medida de peso. Kilograms. Teacher. Yes, sir. Pounds or pounds? Pounds. 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 ¿Sabe cómo? Pounds. ¿Cómo le hace usted? Pound. Pounds. ¿Sí? <laughs> eh, bye. Mejor pounds. ejemplo no le puedo dar. Pounds. <laughs> like, boom. Yeah, very good. Okay, and this one, ideal. 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 Wait. Ideal. Wait. 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 Very good. Wait. Excellent. Excellent. Over. Ideal. Over. Over. Under. 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 Very good. Okay. Um, Gabby, uh, can you please? Yes. I have yes. a question. Yes, teacher. Alex. Teacher. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, when we read in. Um, this decimals or yes mm -hmm. uh, five point five point five yes kilograms yes exactly five point five kilograms yes uh, I can say five and can, a half kilograms can I I can say it or are you are are you telling me something or you are asking me something um asking aha uh -huh. so can Where I, I need to, can I say? Very good. Say, uh -huh. say, uh, five, five and, and a half. half yes, yes, you can say that. Okay. There you go. Okay, it's last sure. two questions. Yes, Moran. 5.5 five mm -hmm. kilo or 5.5? Five five. No, 5.5. Five. El dot cuando When lo you uso. use. Mm -hmm. Okay, vamos a darles un poquito de clase de grammar and punctuation, ok ok más si sí, rapidito, aunque no crean que se van a zafar de las dos preguntas que faltan no, ok ese pequeño amigo llamado punto uh -huh. se puede llamar de tres maneras dependiendo donde lo estemos usando ok uh -huh. por ejemplo si lo estamos usando en cosas de matemáticas como en este caso 5.5 Va, se va a llamar 5.5. Uh -huh. yeah. Si lo vamos a usar al final de una oración, se va a llamar period. El mismo puntito. Y si lo vamos a usar para decir una eh, dirección de correo electrónico, ahí se uh -huh. va a llamar dot. Ok. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, usted dice www.walmart.com, www.walmart.com, ¿ok? En ese caso, el puntito se dice dot. Así como cuando usted da una dirección, por ejemplo, eh, ruben.moran.gmail.com. No sé si es el suyo, pero me lo estoy inventando. ruben.moran.gmail.com. Okay. ¿Hoy okay. sí? Yeah. Thanks. Am, okay. You're welcome. Gabi, did I answer your question? Yeah, yeah. Thank you. You're more than welcome. The second one, teacher. Yes, can Gabriel. You, can you repeat the, the second one, please? Which one? What is the name? What is oh. the name in the second? Okay. For email addresses, okay. is dot. Uh -huh. Dot, okay. For uh, mathematics, is point. And okay. for sentences, is period. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can you period. 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 Do you spell in period? Uh, okay. P as in Peter. E as mm -hmm. in Echo. R like in Romeo. I as in Indigo. O as in Oscar. And D as in David. Thank you. You're uh, more than welcome. Period. Would you like me to spell dot? D-O-T. Hey, very good job. I knew it, Gabriel. All right, let's continue. Last two questions. How often do you get a physical exam, guys? Once a year, every two or three years, or rarely? Cada cuando se hacen chequeo médico ustedes? Rarely. Rarely? Rarely. Oh, my God. No, in my case, once a year. Once a year. Once a year. I have to. Every February is the same. Ooh. 
It is for my family health conditions. That's the reason why. For my heritage. Me too. Mm -hmm. Because in my family, there are people who are hypertensive. And at the same time, people who, those who they have diabetes. Diabetes. So I have to like uh, do a physical exam every single year, no matter what. Just to prevent things, right? For health purposes. Okay, and last but not least, how often do you sleep well? Moran, always, right? ¿Qué tan frecuente duerme usted bien? Always, usually, sometimes, or hardly ever, or never? Hardly ever, or never. <laughs> okay, what about you, Gabby? Uh, usually or sometimes. Okay, what about you, Alex? Uh, generally, mm -hmm. usually or sometimes, but in this case, hardly ever. Or never. Hardly ever. What about you, Claudita? Usually or sometimes. Oh, that's good. What about you, Fernando? For the moment, usually or sometimes. What about you, Nari? Usually or sometimes. And you, Martita? Always. <laughs> Me too, Martita. Give me the five. <laughs> you can ask my husband. <laughs> yes. I don't, you know what? The little babies start barking at 3.30 a.m. in the morning and I do not hear anything. <laughs> I'm asleep like a rock. <clears throat> yes, definitely. I love to sleep. <clears throat> okay, guys. So... We are now in the in rate yourself. Okay, guys, who's in the first one? Who has 46 to 55 points? Raise your hand. Nobody. Only the teacher. Come on. All righty. What about number two? 31 to 45. Number Alex. Two. All right. Very good. What about from 16 to 30? Raise your hand, guys. Me. Excellent, excellent. And for 15 or below? The rest. Come on. Okay. All right, guys. Any questions right now? So far, is it good? So How was the reading experience? Okay, mm, now good. guys, after the reading experience of the entire article, can you now tell me what is the article about? In your own words. Health. Health. Fitness. Fitness, okay. Describe the article, guys, in three words. I want you to put a title of an article in only three words. That's tough, right? Eso está más difícil. Okay. Healthy. Healthy. Cool. Oh, not too bad. Very good. Another idea. Great job, Gabriel. Thank you. Martita? Nadia? Gabi? Dianita? Um, Early? Well, the hell, hell, uh -huh. hell. Okay. And exercise. Very good. What about you, Charlie? What do you think? Uh, healthy, fitness, and food. Very good. Exactly. Like the, almost the same idea as Gabriel, right? Yeah. Okay, very good, guys. All right. Can we say, can yes. we say uh, about conditional physical? Mm, we can Maybe. do that. Yeah. Hey, you know what time is it? Kahoo. Yeah, oh. it's time to play Kahoo. <laughs> All right, do me a favor. Just wait for me. I'm going to share my screen with you. I'm about to share it. And I'm going to share also the information through the WhatsApp. Okay. So allow me just one moment more when I open it and try to play it. Do you remember the page, guys? Yeah. Yeah. Let me just one moment. Uh, who that's come? Hey, are you sure? 
Yeah. Eh, no. <laughs> the whole the whole address, please, Moran. Uh, and that it. That that it. 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 Like you. Let me just one moment, I'm about to ask you for a pin. Okay, so bear with me. Ya les voy a dar un pin, okay? Okay. Okay. Mm. Yes. ¿Ya pudieron entrar a la página? Yes. Yeah. Okay, that's the pin. Pueden ir entrando, por favor. Ya voy a compartirlo. ¿Van entrando? Yes. 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 Yeah. Okay. Okay. I have Gabriel, Charlie, Moran, Alex, Fernando. ¿Qué más? <coughs> I have six. Gabby, okay. Claudie, Nadia, Diana. Estamos todos? Martita, where are you? No te veo. I do not see you. How do you say hacen falta? They're missing. They're missing. Yeah, I know they're missing. I got Diana, Gabby, Gabriel, Nadia, Fernando, Charlie, Alex, Claudia, Moran. Martita, okay, two. cool. Two, no. Ah, I'm not there. Don't worry about that. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay, I think everybody's here, okay? Okay, are you ready, guys? Pay attention. Read the questions. Read the announcements, okay? Try to answer as quickly as possible. Right? Okay. Can you see it, guys? Yes? Yes. Okay, cool. Okay, let's start. Adverse of frequency. Which of the following albers at start with the sentence? Okay. ¿Cuál de los, los siguientes adverbios usted los puede poner al principio de la oración? Uh. Eh, yo tengo una consulta. Dígame. Solo me aparecieron unos... Ah, perdón. Estaba... Estaba en otro lugar. No se preocupe. Muy bien. ¿Cuatro contestaron? Bien, exacto. Los únicos adverbios de frecuencia. Aquí está, la pregunta está arriba, ¿ven? We can use the following adverbs at the start of a sentence. Y la respuesta era la última, la cuatro. Muy bien. ¿Cuáles son, Alex? Sorry. Usually, normally, often, frequently, sometimes, and occasionally. Very good job. Vamos a ver cómo va el puntaje. Con todos, Gabriel va en primer lugar, luego Morán, luego Alex y luego Diana. Ok, girls. Ok, girls. Démosle. Ok, continue. We cannot use the following at the beginning of a sentence. No podemos usarlos al principio de la oración. Always, seldom, rarely, hardly, ever and never. Is it true or false, guys? Oh. Two, one, and... Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, who said false? Okay, who said false? 
Come on. Gabriel, oh, sigue. Hey, very good. ¿Quién le contestaron rapidito? Diana, Fernanda, and Claudia. Los tres al mismo tiempo. That's amazing. All right. Moran está cerca de Gabriel. Okay, let's continue. Choose the correct sentence, okay? Choose the correct sentence. Read carefully. Yay! Okay. Who said always I study after class? Podemos poner adverbs of frequency and always at the beginning of the sentence, guys? No. No. Okay. Yeah. Number four is the answer. Great. Moran contestó primero. That's amazing. Luego Claudita. Gabriel, lo destronaron. I'm sorry. Mm. Mm. Dianita, <laughs> where to go? You're closer to them. Congratulations. Claudia, Fernando, come on, guys. I want to see the rest, okay? ¿Qué pasa, Charlie? What happened, Alex? Sorry, What teacher. happened, Gabby? Come on. Okay, let's continue. True or false, guys? The adverb of frequency always goes before the verb to be. Is it true or false? El adverb of frequency goes before the verb to be. ¿Es correcto? ¿Podemos poner el adverb of frequency antes del verbo to be? Yes or no? No. 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 Always has to be after the verb to be. ¿Recuerdan? Yeah. She is always late. ¿Sí? Vamos a ver quién contestó bien. Oh, oh, te destronaron, Moran. Yeah. Dianita, way to go. Then Moran and Gabriel. Claudia and Fernando still rock. Very good. Continue. True or false, guys? The position of the adverb in a sentence, an adverb of frequency goes before a main verb, except with verb to be. That is true or false? ¿Quién dijo que era falso? Come on. Ok, very good. Dianita, you rock. Claudi, congratulations. You were the first one to answer. Yay. Gabriel and Moran. Sorry, guys. Ok, Gabi, please. You need to be the top. Ok. Let's continue. True or false, guys? When we use an auxiliary verb, the adverb is placed between the auxiliary and the main verb. Yes or no? Si usamos un verbo auxiliar, el adverbio de frecuencia va en medio del verbo auxiliar y el verbo principal. Sí o no? Wow! Let me double check. Yay, everybody, great. Claudi, congratulations. Yes, yeah, yes, give it a yes. five. All right, Moran, way to go. All righty. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, you need to fight, okay, for the first place. Very good, Gabriel. Dianita, what happened? <laughs> All right, let's continue. <clears throat> Choose the correct sentence, guys. Adverse of frequency todavía. Five put, oh my God, which one put number two? 
never he knows where to go. No podemos poner el adverbio el adverbio de frecuencia never at the beginning of the sentence, guys? No. No. No, never, okay? Very good. Let me check. Claudi, you're still at the top. But the first one who answered was Gabriel. Congratulations, Gabriel. Oh, All you. right, Moran, way to go. The Anita, okay. Excellent. Let's continue. What happened, Charlie? Sorry. How often do they read? How often do they read? Remember, we saw that example yesterday. How often do they read? Choose the correct sentence. Very good. We have two possibilities. Excellent. Why, guys? Why? Because sometimes we can use in uh, wherever uh, at the uh, in wherever. Uh, you can do it. You can do it, Gabby. You can do it. Whatever what? Uh, at the end of in the middle of. Uh, Huh? Uh, al principio. At the beginning. Sorry. Yes. Yay! Very good job, Gabby. Very good job. You see, you study. Okay, let me double check. Claudita, you rock. Yeah. Okay. Okay, Gabriel and Dianita. Very good. Gabby, come on, Gabby. You can do it. You're doing good. Okay. Moran. What happened, Moran? Come on. <laughs> Quiz, how often does she play tennis? Look at the picture. How often does she play tennis? An answer. Come on, Moran, you can do it. No. no había visto las imágenes de arriba. Ah, <laughs> oh, come on. Oh. All righty. Okay. Yeah, she always plays tennis. Very good. And that was another another answer. She frequently plays tennis. Okay. Okay. Because you see, there or is fine. Por qué occasionally? Si te estaba marcado todos los días. Claudita. Wow, ah, Gabriel, Moran, <laughs> you're almost close, girl. Alex, that's great. That's great, Alex. Let's continue. How well do you play basketball? Remember, we saw that yesterday. But WH question with short answer, guys. Listen, how well do you play basketball? Very good, very good. We have two possible answers, exactly. Pretty well, I guess. ¿Se acuerdan que Américo tenía un tonito bien chévere para decir las cosas? Pretty good, well, I guess. And not very well. Okay, vamos a ver quién va. ¿Cómo estamos? Claudita. Good. Gabriela Moran. Oh, my God, esto está difícil. Yo creo que ya sabemos quiénes son los tres finalistas. Quiz. How long do you spend in the gym? ¿Qué tanto tiempo en el gimnasio? How long? Listen carefully and choose the correct answer. Oh my God, not very often. Okay. Who said okay? Come on. Aha, <laughs> uh -huh, guys. Shame on you. Come on. Okay. okay. How good you are in searching for information online. ¿Qué tan bueno es usted buscando información en línea? How good you are in searching for information online. Exactly. Ah, 
Ay, who said excellent? ¿Quién es tan humilde para decir excellent? Come on. Moran, was it you? Mm, I guess, right, Claudita? No. No. All right. I was a frequent audience. En tercer lugar, Yanita, well done. Gabriel, woohoo! And the first place. Okay, guys, Martita, Gabby, did you like the game today? Sí. Mm. Yes, yes, I like. You like it, right, Martita? Okay, I know, yes. Gabby, it's really new for you, right? Yes. I know, it's really new for you. We need to be faster, right? Because we have time. Yes. But this is really interactive because we learned in a fun way. And at the same time, we do a recap of everything that we have seen, okay? So that means that with this teacher, you got to study. Right, Fernando? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's nice. Okay, you see? Okay, every, every, every Thursday, guys, we're going to play Kahoo, okay? okay. Every Thursday to make I like a recap. Kahoo. I know that you love Kahoo. That is really interesting. And you know what? I love that, that this game because it makes you participate everybody, right? We get together, right? We integrate everybody, like a team. That's what we are. We're a team. We're friends. We're family. Yeah? Good. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Any questions right now? No? Any doubts? Are we okay? You know what? It's time to say goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's time to say goodbye. I'm so happy to have you in this week. We're going to get each other and get along each other, okay? I'm so happy that you made the commitment to join today's class. And also, I'm so happy that you have a study, okay? So next uh, week, we're going to make um, new revisions, new topics. We're going to learn a lot of things, okay? So please study. Okay. And if you have any questions, of course, or any doubts doing an exercise, write on the WhatsApp group, okay? And I will, like, answer. I already answered Alex. I think Alex sent information, or Alexander, about he doesn't know how to do a specific exercise activity at the platform. I will help you, okay? Okay. Okay, I'm so happy to see you, and I'm so happy that you guys are okay. Okay? So, hugs and kisses. I want to see you next week, and hopefully you have a really, really great, great, great weekend, okay? okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Take care. Bye. Have good a good night, night okay? Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.